Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog. And I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought you today, and this information is about what Ibrahim Traore said. We are going to listen to the speech of Ibrahim Traore. And, and there is one important thing he said here. And after hearing that, I began to clap for him because that thing is what every African country needs now. And you would ask me, what is that? Well, he made a speech. And on this speech, he focused on production, manufacturing, and building. And he especially focused on engineers. He said that he is going to do everything possible to, to make sure that whatever they are importing from abroad into Burkina Faso will be manufactured in Burkina Faso. Whatever. Therefore, he will focus to train Burkina-based engineers that the best course for the Burkina Faso is engineering. He praised people who are taking courses like literature, philosophy, law, psychology, history. But he said that what Africa needs and what Burkina Faso needs is people who can build the continent. Therefore, everybody will focus on engineering and he is going to make it attractive. The attractive he means is the payment that we pay people from abroad or from outside outside Africa will be the same to any engineer who can deliver the same quality of job in Africa. And after he said this, I was shouting and clapping because this is what I've been thinking about. Why is it that when Africa wants to build airports, they will go to either China, Japan, to bring builders? When Africa wants to build skyscrapers, they will go to Turkey, China, India, Iran to bring the builders. When Africa wants to build bridges, the same thing. When Africa needs a car, the same thing, then that is the problem of Africa. Africa needs engineers. More than all this law, everybody is doing literature, philosophy, psychology, history. And while you are importing expats and building from outside, there is where Africa is spending all their money from oil, from gold, and so on and so forth. And Ibrahim Traoré has addressed that. He said he is going to support both small and big industries to make sure that Burkina Faso engineers have places where they work. And the pain payment of any Burkina Faso or any Burkina Bay engineer whose work is comparable to what is outside will be the same as the payment we pay people from outside. I want you to listen to this marvelous speech of Ibrahim Traoré because he talked a lot about production, manufacturing, and economy, and that is beautiful. Let's go. So, it will really take a fairly scientific process so that in the future, when the power plant is there, in the not too distant future, it will be the exclusive property of Burkina Bay, that the Burkina Bay engineers will take ownership of it and be able to implement it to be able to maintain it when the conclusions of the discussions that are underway with the partners for the thermal power plant are published, we will make that available to you. And if we need you, we will tell you so that we can quickly implement this plan as well. So let's talk about the area of the economy which is very important to us. We are in the process of setting up a process and we are continuing gradually because that should help relieve the private sector and be able to revive the economy. Currently, we are going to quickly turn to the state companies. Their general meeting has just finished, as you have seen. It works very well and they have achieved very good results. We will start with state-owned companies subtract a little from their DAT to ease the economy and keep it running, ease the domestic debt and keep the economy running. So in the coming days, God willing, many entrepreneurs should be relieved after signing the agreement with state-owned companies. But we are in the process, in the mining sector, as I told you, of taking a certain independence. This should allow us to have a good number of resources in terms of finances, 
but also and above all the industrialization component which should fill this economic component because we spend a lot abroad. We are in the process of setting up all the processes so that our currencies do not go out. In the meantime, at the AES level, as you have seen, we have decided to set up an investment bank and also a sovereign fund. This process, therefore, the technicians are on it. The reflection is in progress, and we hope in the near future that they will present us with something substantial. The other strategic aspect, which I will not talk about, and which you know, we are moving forward calmly, and when the time comes, it will surprise you. And stay tuned. That's all I can say. In the trade and industrialization aspect, we have also made the diagnosis, as I was telling you. Currently, as you can see, we have listed a good number of products that we import from outside. So we are starting an industrialization process. We must manage to put as many industries as possible on site to transform our raw materials and to be able to manufacture what we consume. We are in this process and we are discussing with many partners to have as many industries as possible on site. This will ensure that our currencies do not go out and that the economy runs well and that we can also have jobs for young people. It is in this context that we have taken certain decrees to, fit, to facilitate the creation of small businesses. We have cut all taxes for a good number of years so that small businesses can be created and survive. Unfortunately, small businesses find themselves faced with financing needs. It must be said, at the level of banks, it is very complicated for us to have financing when you create your business. We met the world of bankers, and as I said, we exchanged. But I am not at all satisfied because the return that had to be made so that we accompany them to finance small businesses is not satisfactory. It just seems that is why we are reorganizing our funds that were available at the state level. We have gathered them into a certain number of funds, both at the level of agriculture, both at the level of the Ministry of Employment, to be able to replenish these funds soon, and to be able to allow young people who create businesses to have credits, and to be able to get started. And I take the opportunity to call on the world, again, of bankers, to come back with proposals, because we have solutions, but perhaps not good solutions for, uh, for them. But they must come back a little to support us in being able to help young people get by. If necessary, we will be obliged to put in place a plan, perhaps one that will not please, but we will be obliged. In the field of commerce, as you have noticed, many people have contacted us during our tours of the yard markets. We have taken stock of the situation. There is so much work to be done to rebuild these yard markets. Today, when you take Ouagadougou, the mayor, I would like to hold awareness sessions everywhere concerning a certain number of traders who have set up shop in an anarchic manner on the side of the streets. But I have instructed that it should always be awareness raising while waiting for us to clear the spaces to build markets worthy of the name and ask people to come and take shops in these markets and now be able to free up the streets to be able to expand and clean up our environment. And I am taking advantage. So I am taking advantage, you too, the population of the cities are asking to help us in this awareness raising phase by raising awareness yourselves so as not to build around the sonobelli poles which are a danger to yourselves so as not to build them on the water drainage gutters and i am counting on you so that we can achieve this objective
So let's get back to the aspect of empl employment, sport, youth. We are in the process of carrying out a reform. There will be a ministerial reshuffle in a few days where the architecture of the ministries will change a little. We will dedicate an entire ministry to secondary and vocational training so that we no longer have to have at the university level this blockage that is currently there. We must be able to professionalize many young people from high school, either from the fourth or at the second level so that people can decide to go into vocational courses and be able to self-employ themselves. A ministry will be dedicated solely to that because the education system, as I said after the diagnosis, you agree with me that we train very few engineers. However, a nation that develops the development index also is in terms of trained engineers. Go back in history and see all these great nations the number of engineers trained by one in specific specialties counts a lot in development. In Burkina, we do not have enough. This is why the Polytechnic School of Ouagadougou, we want to develop it into a polytechnic university by putting a certain number of technological courses there and recruiting the maximum number of students who can be trained there and have engineers. It is good that we have courses like modern literature, philosophy, law, psychology, history. Many students end up there against their will. It is not necessarily what they chose. But these are the courses available, which inevitably do not provide employment opportunities. This is why we have decided to promote this sector of professional training and employment by dedicating an entire ministry to it. In the coming days, this reorganization will be done, and you will see how we will evolve.